All right, so we're going to talk about uh, NMES in patients post-ACL surgery and reconstruction. Uh, and this specific study was a level one study that looked at uh, patients immediately following uh, ACL reconstruction and the type of NMES they used. It was a custom setting that they used. Uh, they used four, a four-channel unit that set up four of the pads just like this. They had a large pad here and then three pads going around to activate the entire quad. Uh, the settings were at, set at a frequency of 50 hertz. Amplitude was anywhere from zero to 70 milliamps, so basically the tolerance of the patient. Uh, on off time was five seconds on, 10 seconds off. Uh, ramp up of two seconds and ramp down of one second uh, for a total of 20 minutes. The patient was instructed to contract the quad at the same time that the electrical current was going into the quad to increase volitional contraction as well as stimulate uh, the electrical contraction. Uh, the protocol for this specific one was it was done three times a day, five times a week uh, with the contraction, which is a little bit longer than most people have access to. Uh, but what they did found was that the strength of the quad increased drastically with this specific protocol. So if you have access specifically for like college level athletes, then this is a great um, protocol that you can use. Um, as far as in a standard clinic, I would still use this specific protocol. Uh, you're still gonna gain the results, uh, gain the strength, you may not get to the same necessary percentage and increases they, they gained from doing it three times a day, five days a week, but any sort of stimulation with that contraction is going to uh, help increase the strength in the quads after an ACL reconstruction.